Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new look. And uh, actually, it's from a palette that's pretty new to me. And um, I'm trying a little bit different uh, with the foundation and stuff. So I guess we should just go ahead and get right into it. I uh, went ahead and started with the Lumi Glow Lotion and the e.l.f. Um, and this one is rose gold and I mix the, these two together I use them as a primer on my face and then I use the tear tear and I have mine in cool 21 and so um, this is what I went ahead and got for uh, my base look I did use a little bit of the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer as well and so these are all for what I have on for my base look today. I did go ahead and use a different moisturizer. It's one of the gels that is actually supposed to be for uh, oily skin. And I thought that might go a little bit better with the tear tear. Um, from what I've been finding, it's staying on really well. But um, I just wanted to see if I could get it maybe um, to be a little bit drier because for me I'm older I used to have oily oily skin and now I have a uh, combo skin so I still have an oily t-zone and I just wanted to see if I could get it to wear a little bit better and so that's what I went ahead and changed today but again um, I did get mine on Amazon and they do have two sizes so you this is the smaller size and this is a cushion foundation and um, they have a really good shade range and um, I'm really enjoying the foundation and I'm really enjoying the fact that it's a cushion foundation and it actually mixes with these um, it is pretty full coverage but it will go ahead and mix with these to go ahead and get me uh, some of the shade that I wanted and I was a little bit concerned with this being full coverage that it wouldn't mix but it does and so I'm really liking that and then as far as what else I did uh, as far as bronzer I used the NYX Buttermelt in Buttercup and this one again it does go pretty peachy on me here so we'll see what we got here yeah and um, as far as what I went ahead and did for the actual blush, I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow in the Candlelit. And then I did go ahead and top it with a little bit of the uh, Moira. This is uh, Foxy Pink, and it's a duochrome with uh, golden pink. And I think I'll put a little bit more on. So I use this one as a topper on there. Yeah, there we go. So I really like this one. Um, again, it's listed as a highlight, but I'm using it as a topper. And then the other one that I went ahead and used was for Moira as well. And again, it's a highlighter. This one is in Dreamlight. And so I was going ahead, put in a little bit of that right there, right on the center part. And so, yeah, yeah, um, again, I'm really enjoying both of these highlighters from Moira. And this was actually my first purchase from Moira. Um, they're in the grocery store at Texas, but I don't live in Texas. So um, I tried to order a couple of times and they had been sold out of what I was wanting and that kind of thing. So this is actually the first order that I've gotten in. And um, I did go ahead and use the lip gloss. This one's from BI. It's over at, uh, let's see, Dollar Tree. And they came out with a dupe for the vinyl um, and by uh, Maybelline. And so I went ahead and picked up a couple of the colors. This is actually the lip gloss, not the, um, not the lipstick. And it has a lot of pigment to it. I'm really liking this and then I went ahead and added the NYX Better Gloss Bling. This one has the glitter in it and so that's what I ended up for yeah 
on my lip there. I did go ahead and try out a new combo for mascara. I used Call Me Queen by Essence, and I'm really liking that for uh, the bottom lashes. It really helps them to show up quite a lot. But I did use it both on the bottom and the top lashes, and then I went ahead and mixed it with the Essence Volume Stylist in the 18-hour wear, and this one actually is a tubing mascara, so um, I put it on top of this one when it's still a little bit damp, and I think I get actually more length by going ahead and doing this combo. I went ahead and used the e.l.f. Uh, this is one of their brows in the light brown. It's one of their older brow products, and um, it's actually a little bit darker. I have a dark blonde that I use from Essence and this one is a little bit darker and so it gives me a little bit fuller brow. They say darker brows are, sm are supposed to make you look younger and I don't know where I heard that but hmm, I don't know. Uh, it makes me look like I have a fuller, a fuller brow. That's for definite sure. And then um, I did go ahead and pick up the Moira A Moment With You palette. And so I'm really enjoying this. And I think for fall time, it'll be a great palette. It has a whole bunch of bronzes in it. And then over on this side, it has some browns uh, based in red. And then over here, it has some cooler browns. And it's just a really pretty palette. And I really like the formula quite a lot. Um, I have uh, this one on the inner corner from here to here. And then as far as my actual inner corner highlight, I have this one. This is actually a duochrome, and this one goes orange to green. And it's right on the very inner corner. As far as what I did right under the brow was I went ahead and used this one right here, right under the brow. And the, um, yeah, uh, right on the brow itself, I have this one, and it's a pretty, it's based in red, but it's a shimmer, has really dark bronze. And then right in the crease, I went ahead and put this bronze color. Right on the middle of the lid, I went ahead and put the green. And then in the outer corner, and as an eyeliner, I use this brown that um, has a whole bunch of red in it. And I think it turned out really pretty. Um, like I said, I'm just really liking the formula and the duochromes. And um, it just, it's a really good palette. I would highly suggest it for fall with all the bronzes and the greens and the duochromes, the different colors of brown in here. It's really pretty. So really impressed overall, and the formula is great. As far as the way that the look turned out, that's the way that that turned out, and I think it came out really well. Um, again, I haven't tried Moira uh, before, but this palette has really, really like it. And um, I did go ahead and use the Beauty Pie, the Triple Glow Powder, to go ahead and finish off the look. Other than that, um, yeah, I think that's the video, and um, I definitely want to get some more and more products. They are just really pretty, and um, yeah, I think that's uh, the whole video, and uh, thank you, and have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.